sign that we're back to rain. Some spots will see some sunshine, some spots won't. And I think we're going to basically cut the region in half. The southern areas will see a little bit better chances for a sunny day, but the northern parts could see more showers and storms like we had early this morning. These were mean storms moving out of North Alabama into our northwestern counties and then just fizzled out over the last couple of hours here, really lost their punch. And now all that's left is just a little bit of light rain from Jefferson County up through Fayette and Walker County. May might be a little bit of drizzle outside early this morning if you encounter that. Don't be surprised. No more really heavy rain, I think, until we get to the afternoon hours. Right now in Summerton, you see some clouds, and you see temperatures in the 70s with dew points in the 70s as well. So very humid and muggy air mass out there. Numbers in the 60s to the north, 69 Hamilton, 68 in Coleman. But the rest of the numbers, very mild to start off the day, 77 right now in Birmingham. So we're going to look at the future cast for the next 24 hours or so. And after the morning rain fizzles, another round of sh uh, showers and storms is possible for the afternoon. And some of these will pulse strong and maybe even severe at a time. Now, we have a low risk for that. We'll talk about that in a second and tell you what the biggest risk is. However, not everyone is going to see the rainfall for today. A 40% chance, mostly north of I-20, and then the rain fizzles out later on tonight. But it looks like our northern viewing area, basically from Montgomery north, has a chance for some severe storms. But I would even categorize that risk basically from I-20 to the north. So if you live south of I-20, I think you're okay today. North of I-20, you stand the risk of seeing some storms that could produce some damaging wind gusts in excess of 50 to 60 miles per hour. And more storms are coming Thursday and Friday, this conveyor belt of storms. You see big complexes move in from the north and west and kind of just hang out in central Alabama and really the deep south. And that will provide the trigger and focus for more storms to form. And here you go possibly tomorrow morning. We could be talking about more storms around Thursday afternoon and into Friday, another round of heavy rainfall and possibly some stronger storms. And this is Friday early morning. We could be dealing with another complex of storms. So it's going to be one after the other, waves of rain moving in here all the way through the rest of the week and possibly into the weekend ahead. We'll see if those, uh, that pattern changes just a bit by Saturday and Sunday. But periods of rainfall for today, some strong storms could be in the mix by later this afternoon. We'll see temperatures in the low 90s if you don't see the rain today. Leftover storms, mild and muggy, with temperatures in the 70s when you wake up tomorrow morning. Scattered showers and storms for today, more for tomorrow. Best rain chances, it looks to be on Friday with about a 50 to possibly 60% chance. And then scattered showers and storms ahead for the weekend as well. So we'll be watching that very, very closely. You just have to watch the forecast each and every day. And it's Weather Wednesday today. And it's my Weather Wednesday. And a question that came up, when do you water your plants when it's very, very dry outside? We had a very prolonged dry stretch last month. Good question. When do you water? Keep that garden green. We're going to let you know. There's a couple of different schools of thought, and we'll tell you which one is the best. That's in our Weather Wednesday segment on CBS42.com and our CBS42 Facebook page later today.